it's Joanna welcome to my channel if you're new here thanks for clicking on the link we are going to have a Shein haul if you're new here I post videos about beauty lifestyle vlogs in Greece when I'm able to go to Greece and things that have to do with Greece like Greek food uh, and and planner videos and things that have to do with stationery and stickers and all that because I like those things as well now I'm going to tell you about my Shein haul I'm going to try on the clothes you're going to see them in different videos because they were shot at different days so my hair is also going to be changing color throughout the video this is what I look like now mid-July and I did my hair yesterday so I might be a bit of dye on my hair well I don't know dye on my hair yes dye on my head skin anyway so I'm going to tell you I'm going to show you what I ordered, I'm going to talk about the process, the quality, how to choose what clothes to get and the return policy because, especially in the UK, there aren't that any, any videos about how to return stuff to Shein and uh, it was a bit of something that made me anxious. It all turned out well in the end, but there was a process. So let's begin with how what my sizing is and all that so let's start with that sizing and quality so I have my notes here in my happy planner notebook see I told you I like planners so sizing and quality so in the UK I am a size 16 in M&S in any shop 16 sometimes 18 sometimes 14 but usually I'm a 16 and when I ordered based on the 16 some of the items had to be returned on the Shein uh, website so I suggest you take measurements of your bust your waist and your bum <laughs> and then um, based on those measurements you are uh, you decide on what clothes you're going to buy and what size you are so I am a bust 114 and then my waist is around 108 and the hips and thighs that don't lie are around 130 so those are my measurements and based on those I was able to actually order stuff that fit me there were one or two that need to be taken in a little bit but that's all right taking it in is okay something that's too small not okay now the quality of the products if you're in the UK it's something like Primark new look something like that internationally I'd say it's a little bit it's like H&M but mm, not always there are products that are really good and there are products that and you will see from what I show you later on that are like nope not good so that that's that's what I recommend and those are my suggestions when you're on the website and you're trying to decide what size to get always go with your measurements when you click on the size they suggest it shows you the measurements so sometimes you would click on the 16 and it was like, oh, that's like that ain't a 16 mate anyway so that's that suggestion now let's move on to how to order you just have to wait for my intro So, how to order? Well, you go on the Shein website and you order. Now, um, the order process is simple. You go in, there are loads and loads of stuff you can look at. They have homeware, accessories, clothes, everything, kids, stuff, everything, everything. Whatever you want, they have it. Well, stationery, have lots of things. And there's also a curvy plus size option. So, that takes you straight to plus size um, so you go on you order you pick your stuff you put it in the bag you pay make sure you go through the vouchers because they usually say that you can use a three pound voucher but if you click on the voucher there are other vouchers they are offering you there's always there was like a weekend voucher that was like 30% off or 15% off so sometimes that is bigger than the three pound off they're offering you so click through the vouchers to check and um, once you've done that and you're ready to pay pay then you have to wait for your products to come now i am in york and i know this company is based in china so it took about a week 
eight nine days somewhere it was it was fast it wasn't it didn't take like three weeks it was it was quite quick I did two orders actually and they were both in about a week the things were here so I'm going to show you the accessories I got and then I'm going to play videos with the clothes I got now as I said I have been wanting to film this video forever but never had the chance so you're going to see me in different kinds of hairstyles and all that but all these things were bought uh, mid-June so uh, June so they're still available I guess and what I'm gonna do is because I don't have a lot of time I'm just gonna post screenshots of all the products so you can actually see them and I'm gonna link my blog in the description box so if you want to see every detail of the clothes and the measurements you can see from my screenshots on my blog okay sorry about that guys but I'm really pressured with time and work Okay, so what I got, I got accessories and I'm colorblind, so I'm not sure if they're gold or silver. <laughs> I forgot, but it, it, you'll, you'll be able to see. So the first thing, which of course I'm not wearing the right top for, but you'll be able to see is this necklace. I like how it has this thing over here. I don't even know what that is. And then the pearl comes down and sits like in between uh, the breast. It's really nice. If you're wearing something low cut, this would look really, really nice. Then I also got this necklace. I hope I don't tangle it. So that's the necklace. Again, I really like how they go, like they're, they're quite long. So if this was on me, again, it would sit quite long down here. And I'll show you up close. It's got little stars and then it's got like some diamantes and more stars. And yeah, it's full of stars. So that's the other necklace I got. And I also got this necklace. I think this one's silver. I'm 100%, more 100. I'm 90% sure this is silver. And I've just dropped it. So it's, I'm probably going to tangle it. They do get tangled, guys. All necklaces get tangled, if you have a suggestion. So this one has these little diamantes here. And then again, this one is quite long. So this goes really, really long. This is a long necklace. Um, and they've got two little diamonds, one there, and then these ones here. So that's the other necklace I got. Now, I got four pairs of earrings, and these ones, first of all, here's the thing, the earrings look way smaller on the website than what they are um, when, you, when you see them in person. So I got these earrings, and I'm wearing them in one of my uh, videos, so you'll be able to see these on. They're really pretty. They are very, very lightweight. So this is one pair. Then, I haven't tried these on, but I also got these ones. Very pretty. I'll just show them there. Shall I put one on so you can see? Let's see. I'll put this one on. So, that's what it would look like if you were wearing it with a nice summer dress or a white tee and a colorful skirt or something i think that would look really pretty i have no idea what color they, this is i forgot but i can check on the website or ask someone it has a little pearl up there so that's that one all these cost like two pounds well, then i wanted to get little bees so i did i got bee earrings i think they're so cute these would be nice. I got this yellow skirt from H&M and a white tee and I think that would be really pretty. I'll just put this one on. Tell you how heavy it is. It's a little bit it's it's a little bit heavy but it's all right. So that's the little B. Um and yeah, that's the little B and um yeah, I have a really good description of products, Joe. Really good. Anyway, so that's the B up close. I've got two little bees and then this was a little bit of a fail I don't think I'm ever gonna wear these cuz they're huge okay um, when I bought them on the when I saw them on the website they looked small but no they're not small they're humongous so you could probably wear them on your wrist if you have a small wrist so yeah I don't know what do you guys think shall I wear them or yeah I don't know I haven't even tried them on. Let's put the other one on and have a laugh. Well, have a laugh. I don't know. You might like them. I might end up wearing them. 
So who knows? Let's put on the other one. Let's see. Okay, so these are the earrings. Maybe with a summer dress, maybe. Mm, I don't know. On the fence about that. So these are all the jewellery I got. The quality of the jewellery is like an H&M necklace. Like it's thin, it's not going to last forever. But these ones, these ones are really lightweight. So I, I really recommend these ones. If you if you like pearls, these are really lightweight, really pretty, really nice one. So I've said really, really lots of times. Um, so I'm going to move on now to my try-on haul. There are lots of dresses. You're going to see them on. And then I'm going to show you what I returned. So you're going to see try-on haul of different days and then returns. And then I'm going to come back like this. Okay, so these are the trousers. They need to get a bit shortened because they're quite long, but I'm happy with how wide they are. They are very wide. And they've got two pockets in the bum. Mine is a little bit, uh, I have space here that is probably going to need to get taken in. And there are pockets here in the front and a button, zippers, and yeah. So I'm just wearing them with white trainers, a white jumper, summer jumper. And this necklace is also from Sheen. You can wear it like that or it's got like little fake diamantes. I've been wearing it all morning. Nothing has happened to me. So that's good. It was like two pounds. You can also wear it on the inside. So yeah, these are the trousers. Really happy. So this is the leopard dress. It's got these rouge, these... I don't know what it's called, that elasticated waist thing for the booby area. And then it's got these ties and you need to tie them up because they fall. And then it's a maxi. I am 163, so it's almost on the floor for me. And very airy, lightweight, great for summer. So yeah, that's that. Let's so. This is the leopard print dress. I like the top bit, but here it's a bit loose, so it's probably going to need a stitch. And I like the sleeves and these puffy bits from the sleeve. And then, if you can hear that fly, there's a fly somewhere flying around. Um, and then at the back, it's got this belt. I'm guessing you're supposed to tie the belt uh, in the front, but I don't like it in the front. It's very flowy, very long. I'm wearing trainers at the moment because I don't have any going out shoes where I am. But you could wear it with trainers, I guess. You could wear it, you could dress it up, you could dress it down. You could wear it with nice heels and nice earrings and uh, your face done up and your hair done and everything really nice. Or you could just wear trainers and some earrings and a nice little bag and you're ready to go. Very lightweight material, great for the summer. And yeah, I like this dress. So this is the other dress. You can't really adjust the bra. Oh, well, you can a little bit. Um, and it's got this elastic band here. I'm wearing it the wrong way around. The front bit has two slits, but I'm going to uh, get them sewn because I don't want slits. And then it's quite flowy and airy. So if it's warm where you are, this is going to be uh, really nice. And I've paired it up. I'm wearing earrings I got from Shein. These are very, very light, little pearly ones. You could dress this up or just wear your trainers, go to the shops, have a nice little bag. And yeah, I really like this uh, dress, which I think is orange, right? Orange, yeah. So that's that dress. Going back, this is going back. I know it looks really, really nice, but this was very, very small, so maybe that was my fault because of the measurements. Now, the problem is the material. I don't know if you can hear it, it's like a papery kind of material, it's extremely thin. It's very, very thin, 
and I didn't like the material so I wasn't even bothered that it didn't fit. The material is what would I like a table one of those you know those uh non grease non oil tablecloths where you wipe them with a a piece of uh i don't know sponge and then the oil comes off it's like that I think it's a hundred percent polyester I'll tell you later on um or um what was in this you might have it here as well hang on let's see there's a little label so what does it say Jeanne? It says, what does it say? Hang on, let me just check if I can tell you what's in it. It's 100% polyester. Not not nice material. This is returning. It's lovely. If you don't mind the polyester and you've tried 100% polyester and you're fine with it, this is a nice dress. It's very long, uh, but I couldn't fit it. You should know that there's no give in the waist area. There's no elastic uh, area. And these are okay the elastic bands it's got a puffy um, shoulder I thought it would look really nice but I couldn't go beyond the material now these are going back I'm, I've already ordered a new pair though this is really good quality jean if you're looking for wide leg trousers these are wide leg it's not a thin jean so it's you won't be scared that you're going to wash it it does smell a little bit of chlorine but i'm guessing that once you wash it it'll be fine it's not overpowering or anything it has pockets here i didn't i didn't order the right size so there are pockets here in the front and pockets i think at the back let me just check not 100% sure. Sorry if I'm wobbly, guys, but I'm trying to film with one hand. So there are pockets in the back. I have ordered uh, a size up. And I'm really excited about this pair of jeans. I'm going to show you in my next Sheen haul. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see what this looks like on. So this is the second thing I'm returning. Not because I didn't like this. This one, I ordered a bigger size. This is going back. I liked it. It had this really nice leopard tie at the back. It's going back because it didn't fit. It's got like 5% spandex and 95% and cotton. So the material is quite good quality. You know, what, what you get in probably next, not Primark cotton. It's a bit thicker than that. So it's good quality co cotton, good quality material. But... It was very, very small. So I got, this is a 16, guys. <laughs> this does not fit me. And it just makes my muffin top pop. <laughs> That's not a good look. Not a look I'm going for. So these three items are going back. You've probably already seen what I kept. And then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a few tips how to shop on Shein. Because the return policy was a nightmare but you're watching this video so you'll know what to do and you're not going to have a freak out like I did and I'm also going to tell you how much it costs to send everything back so these three items are going back um so this video is being filmed in stages so I'll let you know about that as well okay so now let's move on uh, to you've seen what I kept and what I'm returning and what, and what I returned. So let's talk about the return process. First of all, if you are ordering Shein, and maybe I should have mentioned this earlier, on your computer, it's better to use Internet Explorer, not Google Chrome, because when you use Google Chrome, it doesn't show all the options and stuff. So I was trying to return through Google Chrome and it wasn't working. So then I switched and I'm like, hmm, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe Google doesn't work. So switch to Internet Explorer. It was fine. So it was easier to use Internet Explorer when I was uh, shopping and I was trying to return. So you go through the return process is fairly simple, <laughs> she says now. So you click on the items you want to return. You say why you want to return them. And then Sheen says that you will be able to see your return voucher. You will be able to see your return voucher. So I was sitting there clicking on the point where they say to go to, you'll read this in the return policy, and nothing was there. And I'm like, huh? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Work up the next day, nothing returned. Just saw the word processing, processing. And when you read the return policy, it doesn't say that the return, you'll get your document with the return. QR code and all that um, in about 24 hours so 
I thought it's automated and it comes back like ASOS straight away or Amazon. It doesn't. So um, after about like a day and a half, I received an email with uh, the return document, the QR code, what I needed to use to return. Uh, the po So they send you this document with the address and all that and the QR codes and everything and you just... I don't remember if there's a QR code. You get this document though with the which you're supposed to stick on your parcel. It came in an email. Then when I checked on the Shein website, I saw that document there as well. In the return policy, they don't mention that you will receive an email. So keep that in mind. That's what happened in the UK. I don't know about other places in the world and I don't know what the return policy is there. But if you're in the UK or if you're somewhere else and you're waiting for the document to come and you're seeing processing, that's why. And remember, don't use Google Chrome in this case. So all in all, the experience was good. I enjoyed shopping. There are loads of stuff in my basket at the moment. I'm going to make another shop later on, maybe in August. And if you like this video and you want to see another Shein haul from me, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, trying to reach 500 subscribers. I don't know if I've re reached that yet, but I really want to. And then there'll be a giveaway, a beauty giveaway and a planner giveaway. So yeah, and if you've ordered from Shein, let me know what you have ordered and what you think. Um, and I'll link the blog post. Hopefully it will be up at the same time. If it's not, just come back a few days later and it will be there. I'm really pressured at work, guys. So yeah got lots of stuff going on. So see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.